Good day Crafty Chums, it's Nikki here aka Carson Decat, aka Carson Decat's Life and today I just thought for my um, journal page I am just going to do a face do them all the time, I like to keep my hand in <laughs> keep my hand in so you know that um, when you draw a face you divide it up you have the centre line which that isn't quite centred because I'm sort of like leaning down on one arm so that's not quite centred but hey ho this is just my journal and you know that for the eyes you do the you've got one eye there you've got that space that would be one eye so your other eye would be around about there and that gives you the spacing for your eyes. Here is your little nose and your little nostrils. However you like to do them. <laughs> and I see um, this is your eyebrows here. Of course, if you want to, you could do your eyebrows here and drop, and drop your eyes down to here if you want. Really, when you're doing your little face, whimsical faces and things, it's up to you, really, um, at what level you put things on there, as long as you sort of like, see what I mean? You do your eye there, and then you can, eyebrow there, and then you can drop your eye down lower there. And it still looks okay, just up to you. I prefer, sorry now I've got the camera wobbling because uh, my table was a freebie and so it does wobble a little bit along with the chairs. I've got two chairs with this table that was a freebie and um, the chairs also uh, I've had to glue them back together because uh, not only were they wobbling but they were, <laughs> but they were coming apart as well. So um, and then your mouth goes on here which is um, when you decide on your halfway mark there so that was halfway you sort of like get a feel for it as you go along and then halfway down this bit is where you put your nose roughly then halfway between the nose and the chin is where you put your mouth and that's basically the lines that you choose um, uh, to draw your face then you can do your ears if you want but you don't have to put ears in if you don't feel comfortable putting ears in don't put ears in <laughs> you know just do what feels right to you really and uh, with your eyes you just do your little eye shape there and your little little pupils there as well you just do you don't do a if you do a whole circle if you do your eyes like this your little lemon shaped thing for your eyes and then you draw your eyes a circle there and then you do the eyeball like that what you what happens is is that you get your starey eye so if you draw it like that then just draw your eyelid over the top like that and um, scrub out the top part of the eye and what you're left with is a is your hooded eye and that doesn't look so bad as the wide eye starey thing that looks a little bit better or at least I think so I'm not uh, you know I've been doing faces for a little while now and uh, I wouldn't say that I was you know fine artist or anything but uh, my faces are coming along a bit you know so that that would be a little dimple under the chin another mistake that I see people do when they do the nose is that um, you have a line that comes from the end of the nose which is bridging the nose that goes up there like that I don't know whether you'll be able to see if I bring it up closer Oop pop that down you have a line that comes up off the tip of the nose there like that and the mistake that I often see 
um, people making that makes it look not like a realistic, you know, when they put the shade in, is that they take it from the nostril and put it up, and that wouldn't be right. You, it's from, like, from the tip of the nose and not from the outer edge of the nostril flare. So, um, yeah, so basically that's a basic face, and then you've got your little bit under the lip there, and you can put a little dimple there. And really, you just alter it for how you like to draw it. Sometimes I do a full, full of bottom lip, sometimes a full of top lip. And then if you want to put eyelashes in, that's okay too. It's just, you know, just how you want to do it. I don't know. And then, and then you start finding your own style of how things are going. Um, I can't help it. My faces are usually long and thin. And I don't know why. Perhaps that's because I have a long... My face used to be thin, <laughs> but I do have a long face myself, and uh, and so you spend so much time looking at yourself in the mirror that obviously you're going to be drawing your face. Really, is um, what happens is because that's the face that you see most of, because you look at yourself every day in the mirror. My pencil here is a bit blunt and I can't be bothered to get up to um, <laughs> to find my uh, pencil sharpener. So, yeah, I'll give her some hair. Big hair. That used to be my hair, but I've got it all chopped off now, so hey-ho. <laughs> I used to have lots of long hair and up until about a year ago and then I just went crazy and chopped it all off. <laughs> Which I do from time to time. Just chop it off. So she's coming on, isn't she? I don't know what I'm drawing really. I just thought I'd uh, have a go at drawing a face. Just because I need to keep my hand in at drawing faces. Got to keep going. I don't know whether I'm going to uh, finish her off by, um, I might get my watercolours out, what do you think? Yeah, I'll go and get my watercolours. So I like using my watercolours because basically I'm lazy. <laughs> and all I need is my watercolour brush and uh, a mud tin of watercolours and then I'm set to go. Um, what's going to happen now is I'm using watercolours and uh, and this is a very soft pencil I've used here, a 6B. So what's going to happen is that the face will smudge like crazy. <laughs> when I add the watercolour to it, it's going to smudge like crazy. But, um, you know, I'm not too unhappy by that because it is just in my sketchbook. It is in my journal. And a journal, you know, your journal pages is just an expression of you, isn't it? It's, you know, it's not, it's not going to hang in the Louvre or anything. So it doesn't matter. Well, to me, it doesn't matter. <laughs> trying to keep away from going too hard onto the, um, onto the pencil as I say because it will smudge <laughs> so I'm so much trying to do my best to keep away from that she's got a nice bag under her eye there from where I did the um, drop her drop the eyes and that where I was just showing you a bit how that works. <laughs> it's 
good. What I did was um, I just left a, a little patch there over her face where it's going to be lighter in colour. Got a little bit of purple here which I might use just for a little bit of shadowing. starting to lose light actually now so I um, don't know what this will come out like in the uh, I don't know what this will come out like uh, for you but as I say I'm losing the light and it's getting quite dark here So I'll just finish her off quite quickly. <laughs> so say, you know, it wasn't going to be anything truly astonishing or astounding. quite like to do quick sketches as well just to um i don't know i don't know why i like to do lots and lots of uh sketches because i think i'm just you know practicing shape things like that So I hope you like my uh, very quick sketch, as I say. I don't want to go on this too long because uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to keep the light. Just trying to pop in a few lines here. Just darker lines and things. A little bit of shade and that. And I know people like to put in the shine on faces. On the eyes, not on the faces, but maybe on the faces too. Let's see if I've got a uh, paint pen, pint pen, thicker one. I've got a white. I've got. A, I must have a white here somewhere. Mm. I knew I'd have a white there somewhere. See. <laughs> It's quite often good just to pop the white highlight where you can, where you know it would be. Sometimes that helps with it, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> now if the eyes aren't dry that's going to uh, just be um, funny <laughs> but anyway 
We'll put some in the hair too, shall we? If it's wet, of course, the white will just take up the colour of the brown as well. So, And that's not always a bad thing. Just helps to make the hair look a different colour. So anyway, there you go. That's my quick sketch of my journal for today. And I uh, hope you followed that. I can see your eye. <laughs> That I have did there, of course, because it's a 6B. It's in there quite deeply. <laughs> anyway, so that's my girl. That's my journal page for today. I could go on, couldn't I? Actually, you know, I could do things like... Um, just go around the eye a bit more, put in a little bit more there. You know, I could play with this and just keep going. But I don't really want to, because <laughs> it's only supposed to be a quick sketch, isn't it? And of course, once you once you start going, then, you know, you could actually just... This is why I just say to myself, I'm only going to do a quick sketch, because you could actually keep on and on with the detail, and uh, I could be here for hours. But um, just a quick play, so to keep my hand in, just so I can enjoy it. And I hope you liked it. See you again soon. Bye.